What is going on guys, Moiboss here, and today I'm going to show you a couple of nice little jump spots, um, some nice like head glitching spots, and maybe like one or two grenade spots on the map Hydra. I uh, did a video earlier this week where I showed how to survive the path of the water just in case you got into it. Um, I go check that out if you haven't already, I might touch up on it here in this video, but anyways, let's get it started. So uh, my first spot, this is for domination obviously, uh, if the enemy's coming from the left side, you just kind of stand on this pillar. You have a nice little spot. It's hard to shoot at you from this. It's a really good defensive spot, and you'll get a lot of kills when enemies are just sprinting in trying to get it. Obviously, you're weaker on your backside, but hey. Um, the next thing I have for you is a nice little spot. I love this spot. It's It kind of evens the ground between the high ground over there at B, and then also if people are wanting to run around really quick. I usually use a silencer, so they don't really know I'm in this spot. But uh, as you can see, if there's somebody up here at this top ledge just shooting down on the people, really causing a lot of havoc. You can get up here, have a nice little head glitch, get them. Uh, you can shoot them. I know they that is one of their spawns where they run up right there. So you can also pick people off if you have like an AR or something. And um, also if they just run around, I mean, you can. they don't really expect you to be up on this thing. Most of the time I crouch down like this and it, it's pretty good just for that. But yeah. The only downside to this is, as you'll see in a minute, you can get up right there on the opposite side and you're kind of sticking out and you're exposed and you're also exposed right there if they're running up and you're not paying attention or something. But yeah, uh, that one's definitely a spot to use when just kind of defending B-Dom. A lot of people like to hide in that little crevice. As you can see, you can do the same thing here. I, I can, I mean, I can see the ledge, so I can definitely see if a person's standing on it. But um, that's also something to keep to look out for you know people if they're doing it then you can pick them off from pretty far away they stick out like a sore thumb but it's something to if you have no other choice to mess with B with um, right here it's the same thing as a don as uh, a side you get sorry um you can stand on this little ledge and then also like I showed you if you need to get away you can go away flank behind if you have to but you can get right there a lot of enemies like to run through there and just a nice little spot. So let's keep going. Let's move around the map. Let's uh, let's let me show you my favorite spot when people are just coming from C and you're controlling the boiler room or whatever you want to call it. So I like to get right here. A lot of people, you know, they like to get here or here, and then the braver ones like to get here. Don't ever get here. You're way too far. You're pushing up into their spawn, and you're gonna reset the spawns if you're not careful. But uh, right back here, you know, you can hide behind this desk. A lot of people don't expect it. You can also hide behind this one if you have like a close range rifle, or <laughs> sorry, a SMG, and uh, you can just kind of get a bunch of kills right there. Um, that's one of my favorite spots. It's actually better on the other side, but I'll show you that here in a second. All right, my next thing, uh, I talked about this in my How to Survive the Flood video. You just get on this thing if you have no other choice. Obviously, if you don't get in the way of the water, you won't die. But you can hop up here. The flood will go right underneath you. I don't recommend it. This is really a last, uh, like, one of your last, should be your last option. And it shouldn't be what you go to. Because, as you can see, there, there, people are going to be waiting for the flood. Back there, back there. You know, it's not, it's not a really good spot just to be fighting from. All right, let's move on. This is like uh, the spot I showed you on the other side. I like this one better because you have this little bush. People can't really see you as well. And uh, it's just a nice little spot. Alright. Um, I think that's all I have for you around the edge of the map. This is something I learned and I didn't know you could actually do this until I was playing around on this map. Um, no one really points it out. But if you're trying to go... God damn it. <laughs> if you're trying to go from uh, control room to like say there's somebody camping in uh, bridge 34 and you know they're probably got a bouncing betty claymore one side and they're watching the other because you know where they are uh, one tip that I have for you is just run up on the front of the car and don't miss the jump like me Jesus Christ what is going on I'm going full retard today and then hop right up here and get the nice little surprise on them it's pretty useful uh, you can do this both sides you, as you can see there's a car down on that side and it'll just kinda make your life a lot easier it, it definitely gives you some more options instead of just going around to the sides or 
most of the time if you get to this point they're spawning right there and they're all staring you down and you don't really have a chance so definitely take that up don't miss um get a nice little flank and do your thing and uh also i have a grenade spot this is uh probably like my favorite grenade spot if you come up around the side you know somebody's in this building somehow you've snuck past them what you can do is you can take a grenade and you can throw it right through these windows you can't throw through that part of the glass but if you get in the crack you can throw it there and if you're really talented you can bank it off there and hit in there but um, this applies to both sides it's pretty useful if I say so uh, like I said if somebody's camping in there and you just don't have any other option and um, one more thing this is pretty cool if they're coming around to A you can get a little jump you can see if they actually are say you're using uh, the bridge and you're defending and you're not sure if they're coming around you can jump and if you're really good you can jump and I'm sure pull off a kill maybe uh, it would have to be very weak but just a couple more options for you guys I think that's really all I have for you um, yeah for the most part that's all I have uh, I hope you, this helps somebody out I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and comment let me know uh, what map you might want to see next or if there is a map you if you enjoyed this or whatever but um hope you get this helps somebody out hope you enjoyed the video have a great day guys